What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Abraham Creates. I'm here at Victoria Gardens Mall in Rancho Cucamonga, and I'm going to be asking people what's their biggest regret and how did it change them. Stay tuned, guys. Do I look goofy with my hat on? So what's your greatest regret? My greatest regret? Well, you know what? I don't, I don't have any regrets. Um, I mean, without all my personal struggles and my achievements, I wouldn't have the character that I have today. So um, I persevere. Um, anything that I learned was just a lesson. My greatest regret in life, I would say, is the time wasted, wasted in youth. So the opportunities that are given to me, so be it, you know, college opportunities, things like that. A couple of those you kind of let go by and then you just end up wasting your time. So I think that's the biggest regret because that's something you can't get back. You can always make more money, but you can't get your time back. But no, seriously, I don't have no regrets. I do everything that I want to do and I do it 110 percent with no regrets because that's the only way I'm going to move forward in life to make sure I got everything aligned in the right way so I can make sure I get to my goals, my missions, and my dreams in life. But those who got regrets are the people that don't take action on the dreams that they got. So that's why they got the regrets. But I'm here to tell you, don't have no regrets in life. Do what you gotta do. Take action on your dreams. Don't let nobody talk you out your mission and trick you out of your position. Uh, i say my greatest regret is working through is not following my dreams basically you know what i mean i started off as a team parent me and my wife and i think maybe that put some limits on me at least i for myself i thought at least that limit myself um so i i think that would say my biggest regret because now i flash forward to i'm 31 years old mm -hmm. looking back oh man if i would have did this made this step if i would have made this choice if i would have yeah. kept pursuing what yeah. i want to pursue mm -hmm. i would be in a different situation or at least yeah. Not in a different situation because I'm in a good situation. Yeah. You know, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But as far as work wise, I'm not doing what I love. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm doing what I. I'm a senior custodian, so I actually have a good job, man. I'm actually work at a high school. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a, I'm in charge of six other guys. You know, so it's yeah. actually, it's good, man. It helps put the food yeah. on the table. You know yeah. what I mean? It yeah. helps. It helps sustains. Yeah. Plus great, my wife yeah. working. You know. Yeah. But one thing I didn't do is I never followed my dreams. You what's, know what I mean? You know what, bro? I, I would love to own my own business, bro. bro I would love to help people, business. man. I would just love to help people, bro. At the end of the day, I don't even know what it is, but I, I just like to help people, bro. Yeah, like, you know, great. like I think it's dope what you guys are doing, you yeah. know? So I, I think that's that's it, man, is yeah. just follow your dreams, bro. Just do what you want to do. Do what makes you happy. Whatever it is, is you, we got to do what makes us happy. Yeah. You know? Just stop and play sports. Although it helped me mentally, I just, I miss sports right now, so... But I got a new passion, so doing that now. So yeah, sports is definitely the definitely the greatest regret. What sport did you play? I played hockey and I, I ran track. Dang, why'd you stop? Uh, I stopped hockey because I grew out of leagues, and I just stopped playing. And then track, I stopped because I was not good mentally, and it was I was struggling mentally, so I stopped track. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, so Matthew, he's a photographer, as you guys can see. So he's about to take some pictures for me. You guys might see him on Instagram. You guys might see him on TikTok. Or you guys might see him in this video, y'all. Stay tuned. Stay focused. Stay tuned. Stay focused. I, I didn't mean to say that, but stay tuned. What's your greatest regret in life? Um, I think as of right now, my greatest regret would probably be, uh, probably be uh, not sticking to the sports like throughout high school. Why not? Uh, just because um, I guess I never know where it could have taken me in life. Um, I just stopped doing it during my sophomore year. I was doing wrestling, and I stopped. Mm -hmm. But uh, I guess I'll never know where it could have gone. Dang. You, did you really love the sport, or you just played it just because? Um, I, I mean, I did wrestling because I enjoyed it. My uncle got me into it, but I also played basketball. But um, I had to stop that because I had a health condition with my hands. Oh, okay. but yeah. Ah, yeah. You put me on the spot. I'm going to have to say having a baby mama. That's what I, I have to say that. Really? Yeah, man. Baby mamas is hard, man. Dang, how? Because, like, after y'all separate, it's like two different personalities, something you didn't know about her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it comes out, so it's bigger than what you, when you're in a relationship. Yeah. So I think baby moms, I wish I would have, if I did it all over again, like, stay together mm -hmm. or build a, you know, positive relationship yeah. with her. So. Wait, so if you, could, if you could still be with her, would you? Heck no. Okay. You don't make me curse, bro. I don't even curse. <laughs> Heck no. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. What, what advice could you, could you give to young people out there? Shoot, wait. Wait. Yeah, don't jump into like having kids. Like, sex is cool, but I'm saying like take your time, get to know the person, build. Cause I didn't know her, mm -hmm. so I think you take your time and and don't just be living life frivolously. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So that's what I say, man. My greatest regret is uh, not spending enough time with the people 
I thought I didn't love, you know. Uh, it goes when, when stuff goes down, my fault. When stuff goes down, you know, you say, you know, uh, family's only blood, you know, blood is thicker than water and all that. You know, you, you, you go back and forth from, you know, you're cool with them, you're not. When something big goes down, you say you're going to stop talking to them, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and then, you know, when, when they end up passing or whatever, you end up really regretting it, no matter how much of a, of a grudge you really thought you had. So basically, my biggest regret is just not not chilling with the people I love more, even though something oh. happened. You know what I'm saying? Are you just telling people just to, to to spend more time with their loved ones? Yeah, don't take time for granted, bro. Don't take time for granted. Yes. People that you thought you was the real ones, never were the real ones. You feel me? Like if you would just stick to your shit, bro. Sorry, man. If you would stick to your own thing, you feel me? Like you probably would have been somewhere bigger than where you were at then back in the day. Yeah. You know why mess around with people that serve you no purpose, no energy? Yeah. Put all the energy into yourself, and you'll get somewhere big. You know? Want to show some tricks? All right, bet. Let's see it. Oh, <laughs> 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 Damn, bro. <laughs> the war in my face, like that, it means, like, every time that I was battling a war, ain't no one was there, you feel me? Another thing is, I was battling a war myself, trying to get better over a girl that. Oh man, it's all good. I'll, 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 I'll beep it out. It's all good. Yeah, I'll but it, it really is how it is like that. That's literally how to put it bluntly. Like, that's how my war, the broken demon heart, means that. The what? You, the demon heart means that she stand for a demon girl. You move your hair a little bit too. Oh, uh, a demon heart. Oh, okay. It's the demon heart because she, she reminds me of a demon girl. She, she did nothing but eat my heart out. And that actually kind of made me better as a man. Made me like get on my bag. Made me get up. What about that one right there? Grand, grand hard? This is when I was trapping. <laughs> grand hard means that honestly, get off your butt and go get the bag. Don't be sitting there wasting your time with pointless people, pointless meanings. I'd say my biggest regret is wasting time doing like things I'm not passionate in. I've done, I've been trying to make money all my life. You know, uh, do little businesses, you know, start little brands. But for the most part, I haven't had my full passion in it. So at the end of the day, I always, you know, didn't end up getting where I wanted to be, just wasting time. I'd say from now on, I'm only doing things I'm passionate in to actually see the progress and the goals that I'm trying to hit. Uh, I think my biggest regret in life is uh, messing with my ex. Her name is Genesis. I don't like her. She weird. She broke my heart. She cheated on me. You feel me? Hey, but it's time for a bounce back. You feel me? So I'm going to go to her college. I'm going to get back with her, right? And then when I get back with her, I'm going to cheat on her. You feel me? So, like, <clears throat> I don't know how to explain it. You feel me? But that's what I'm going to do. That's my plan. And, and that's my goal when I go to college. I'm going to go to Mount Sac just for her. Thank you, Abraham. This is my biggest regret in life right here. Bro. Honestly, my biggest regret in life, probably not, not working my hardest. I'll say I didn't work my hardest throughout high school. I probably should have gave more effort. I'll say that's my biggest regret. Mm. My biggest problem and my biggest regret is that I just didn't take that first step. Because I would think, oh, in order for me to get started, I got to do, I got to jump, and I got to fly like Superman and go places I ain't never been before. And that thought right there is just, it's overwhelming. So what it did to me, it just held me back. And what I would do, I would obsess with the details and just getting all this information in like here, let me learn every single intricate, how do I make money? But then the worst problem is I don't go about doing what I know I should do. I don't take that little first step and making a dollar. Can you do me a favor? Can you say another one for the camera? Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Sir. Alright guys, that's the end of the video guys. As you guys can see, my shirt's sweaty. We were making a lot of TikToks um while we were at the mall and the cameraman's phone got broke, so it's crazy. But I hope you guys like this video. I hope it entertained you guys. I hope it inspires somebody and helps somebody out. Um like, comment, subscribe if you haven't, and you guys can also check out my other um social medias on Instagram and TikTok at Abraham Creates. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you guys.